Well, I just got done watching uh, the new Brian Stars interview with Never Shot Never, Christopher Drew. And uh, this might be illegal uh, saying this and you could get sued, but honestly, uh, people would say when I got into the whole, whole style, people would say um, that Christopher Drew never shot never is for fakes and everything and all that, but that never, that never stopped me from listening to them. Like, he, I have a sign right there that says music is my job. And I've had such a hard life and Christopher Drew, ew, I, whenever I was down, I'd watch the Never Shot Never video. And that that would sure that would cheer me up quite a bit. It and because music is feel good music, you know. Until time travel came along, the full band shit and there's video I watch of him all the time. Sometimes, especially when I'm getting ready to do it um a show for family or friends, whoever. Here I watch a uh, video of him um, at the Mall of America. And he's cheering sharks, 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 and having a good time. And then that interview came along, and it was definitely uh, disappointing. You know, people were posting Facebook statuses and everything, but I thought it was just some song that didn't work out, whatever, but this is definitely disappointing. I love Brian Starr's interviews. I do. I watch them all the time. That's Alexandria ones, uh, even the Black O'Bride ones, I'm not a fan. Or, uh, who else? Pierre Seville. Oh, if you want all of his metalcore, um, Interviews. Interviews. I love Brian Star interviews. Brian Star is the shit. When I first found Brian Star interview, I thought it would be kind of weird to see dressed in blue, Air Apostle, and everything. But the interview was cool. It was funny and entertaining, and I liked it. I didn't think it was a joke. You know, and being into music, you know, it's, it's not always about the music. You know, it's about having fun and. To me, it's helping people out. And Christopher Drew, I mean, talking about love and everything throughout the whole video. And then he's dissing Brian Stars right there, and he's talking about hating, and, and he's saying how it was how it's some other form of love when they can't express themselves. And then he goes insulting Brian Stars. And Brian, and Brian Stars is cool. I know I'm really a nobody, but Brian Stars is awesome. I love his interviews. And his interviews have like thousands, thousands, maybe millions of views. I'd rather watch Brian Stars than uh, an Oscar winning movie or whatever. You know, Chris Rodriguez used to be a big inspiration, you know, he used to help me out a lot, uh, you know, but after watching that interview, it's, it's really disappointing and sad, so, um, yeah, I guess I got some songs, some albums to delete on my iPod, and some posters to take down, t-shirts to burn, CDs to burn, and yeah, Chris Drew definitely helped me out. He definitely saved me from a dark place. It made me a peaceful person. I have a hippie sign, a Bob Molly shit ever. I have a t shirt with good motivation on it. And a, another peaceful t shirt. I have a lot of cool stuff. He got me into John Lennon and all that. Got me more into the Beatles. You know, I used to love the sound and 
now he's talking about birds and shit. What happened to the pretty girl? He's talking about pretty bird. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but Christopher Drew has changed. And then I definitely know I'm not watching another one of his videos again. And I'm sorry for the bad hair dudes. I haven't gotten a chance to shower yet, so that's why I put on my hat. And I was with the girlfriend today. So the Christopher Drew. And I I'm not even signed to a record label, but I know exactly what music stands for. I know what peace stands for, I know what love stands for, and that interview nothing to do with any of those. I mean, Brian Starr's interviews are awesome, but Chris Redu sat there and had nothing to do with it. His bandmates were acting like assholes. It wasn't, it's not cool. You know, it's definitely disappointing. And in the interview, Brian Starr is making a, a little other video and he's crying. It's not, it's like, it's not cool. You know, like, why would Christopher Drew do that if he's talking about love and singing about love and all this shit? It's lame. It's sad. And you're getting all pissy because of rumors. Well, you're in the music business, dude. People are going to hate you. People are going to start rumors. He's like, I, I'm not signed to anyone, but I still get haters. I still get people that don't like me, that don't like my music. You know, it happens. But, let me cut the video short there. But Christopher Drew, dude, I hope, I desperately hope you see this video. Dude, you disappeared. Your fans miss you. Man, sing about real love. The time travel and warping into stuff. You know, stop insulting people like that. That's not cool. But let's end the interview and I don't have anything else to say. But that was that was sad. Christopher Drew definitely needs to realize what it's really all about and what it was about. Love is about how, you know, caring and loving people and showing it and trying to inspire it to people. Not going and insulting them and insulting what they love doing. And it's definitely inconsiderate and Brian Charles Drew seven hours. He had someone important there. Christopher Drew just sat there flicking his ashes on the ground and he had an ashtray right there. There and then happiness. Dude, happiness is you're supposed to express happiness to everyone, not break it down. Not break them down. And it's not cool. Music, it's not always about no music. And you know, I loosen up and, and you know, this is a fun interview. You know, it's about music and it's about I just having fun and chilling. And but I'm gonna go and delete Never Shot Never shit and everything I have of Never Shot Never because I am no longer a fan and Christopher Drew can go and suck a dick and kiss an ass and message Christopher Drew, dude, where'd you go, man? Where did you go? Peace.